In 2011, I purchased a 1989 GTC LeBaron convertible with plans of using a motor and transmission that I had in storage from an old Daytona project. Back in 2002, I fully restored a 1990 Dodge Daytona Shelby VNT and sold it to a friend of mine who was extremely interested in having this rare car. Needless to say, I purchased the vehicle back from him several years later and wound up driving it until it was unusable due to rot and rust. Fast forward eight years and we're at the present day summer 2018 where I finally have time to remove the engine and trans. As you can see in some of these clips, I had to swap numerous parts for the bracketry and the engine mounts and the trans mounts to work in the LeBaron as they were different from the Daytona. Turbos Unleashed provided this race transmission that was purchased in 2011 and stored in a Tupperware in my basement until this summer. I was able to evaluate the majority of the parts on the LeBaron pretty quickly. It was obvious that numerous parts needed to be fully disassembled, cleaned, reassembled with new pieces, new bearings, and in several cases painted and polished and cleaned for use in the new car. In this video here, I disassembled the intermediate shaft which allows for equal length axle usage. Uh, this piece, this bearing, is no longer available and needed to be completely disassembled and cleaned and repacked with grease. All of this was completed in one weekend and I got the Daytona engine in, started and running here on day two. After getting it running and being very anxious to drive it, I quickly noticed that the gas tank had some major ailments. A new fuel pump, new gas tank, new fuel lines all installed and got me on the road quickly. What you see in this video is actually the first test drive out of the driveway making boost going down my road. found the original 1989 Chrysler Infinity sound system cassette tape and popped it in, worked awesome, and here are the tunes from the late 80s. I have the variable nozzle turbo boost setting set to about 15 psi before it reaches maximum pressure. This turbo can support boost pressures up to 30 psi. Once the clutch is broken in properly, I will increase the boost levels and enjoy the speed. <laughs> 